Divide and simplify if possible. x squared minus x minus 6 over 2x squared plus 11x plus 14 divided by x squared minus 36 over 2x squared plus 19x plus 42. Just like the last problem, this is a division problem with fractions, and we know that we can change this to a multiplication problem by taking the reciprocal of the second one. So this is equivalent to x squared minus x minus 6 over 2x squared plus 11x plus 14 times 2x squared plus 19x plus 42 over x squared minus 36. Now we know we need to factor these polynomials, but unlike the previous problems, we have some trinomials that have leading coefficients out front. So in these cases, we need to use the AC method. Because the AC method requires us to do several steps worth of work, I'm going to factor each of these off to the side. Let's start with 2x squared plus 11x plus 14. In this case, AC is 2 times 14, which is 28, and B is 11. So we need two numbers that have a product of 28 and a sum of 11. Those numbers are 4 and 7. We can use those to split the middle term. So this becomes 2x squared plus 4x plus 7x plus 14. And once we've split that up, we have four terms, so we can use grouping. The terms in the first group are both divisible by 2x, so we can pull out a 2x, and that leaves us with x plus 2 as the leftovers. In the second group, there's a GCF of 7, so we can pull that out, and that also leaves us with leftovers of x plus 2. Now that we've factored both of the groups, we see that both of them contain a factor of x plus 2. So we pull out x plus 2 as the common factor, and that leaves us with 2x plus 7 as the other factor. So that is the first one done. We also need to factor 2x squared plus 19x plus 42. We're going to use the same method. In this case, AC is 2 times 42, which is 84, and B is 19. So we're looking for two numbers that have a product of 84 and a sum of 19. And those numbers are 12 and 7. So we can split that middle term up into 12x plus 7x. And now that we have four terms, sorry, that's a plus. Now that we have four terms, we can finish by grouping. In the first group, both of those terms have a 2x, so we can pull out a 2x, and that leaves us with x plus 6. In the second group, they're both divisible by 7, so we can pull out a 7. That also leaves us with x plus 6. Now that we've factored both of the groups, we look to see what they have in common. They both contain an x plus 6, so that is our common factor. And then the leftovers are 2x plus 7. So now we can go back to the original problem, and we can use those once we factor everything out. The first one that we did, 2x squared plus 11x plus 14, is going to be x plus 2 times 2x plus 7. And then the other one, up in the numerator, 2x squared plus 19x plus 42, is x plus 6 times 2x plus 7. I already see something that's going to cancel, but let's factor those other polynomials first so we can do all the canceling together. x squared minus x minus 6 can be unfoiled. We're looking for two numbers that have a product of negative 6 and a sum of negative 1. Those are going to be negative 3 and positive 2. Then in the denominator, x squared minus 36 is a difference of squares. 
we know that's going to be x plus 6 times x minus 6. And now that we've got everything factored, we can look for common factors to cancel. We've got that 2x plus 7 in the bottom and top that can be canceled. I also see an x plus 2 and an x plus 6. And it looks like those are all of the factors that we can cancel. So we look at what's left, and we see that that leaves us with an x minus 3 in the top and an x minus 6 in the bottom. So that is our final answer. When we have polynomials that need to be factored with the AC method, it certainly takes more time and more work, but the steps are generally the same. We need to be flipping that second fraction to turn it into a multiplication problem, we're factoring the polynomials, and we're canceling out any common factors.